Fatherhood, directed by Paul Weitz and stars Kevin Hart, Melody Hurd, Deborah Ayerend, Alfred Woodard, and Little Rail Howery. So Fatherhood is about a father who brings up his baby girl as a single dad after the unexpected death of his wife who died a day after their daughter's birth. So this was another project hurt by the pandemic and rescued by Netflix. And I swear Netflix is like Forrest Gump out here running TV shows and films out of the pandemic left and right. Yeah, but anyway, Fatherhood is actually inspired by true events from the American author Matthew Lodgelin and the hardships he faced as a single father after losing his wife. But the original true life story was modified to fit a little more with Kevin Hart's background which works very well by the way. But something else that I also wanted to point out real quick before we get into this review is that I realized that Kevin Hart's daughter in the film played by Melody and the wife played by Deborah also play mother and daughter in the Amazon Prime original series, uh, the original horror series, Them. It's just one of those weird facts like how back in the day when everyone realized that the voice of Mufasa and Sarabi, who were the king and queen in The Lion King, were also the king and queen in Coming to America. I just love little details like that from movies. It's it's pretty damn cool, but you know, I digress. So I saw Kevin Hart mention in an interview with The Breakfast Club recently uh, that he felt like this was probably his best performance in a film thus far. And uh, I would agree. And I haven't seen many films where Kevin Hart is actually playing a serious role in a film. Although I did see The Upside, uh, which is, you know, based on The Untouchables, which was also based on a true story, which was a remake of The Untouchables, I mean. And I thought he was pretty good in that film, honestly, which was still a comedy drama type of film. You know, it still had that comedy element in it because of course Kevin Hart's in it. I mean, to be honest, I'm really not a huge fan of Kevin Hart. I'm really not a big fan of his stand-up and I'm honestly not a huge fan of his movies either but i'm also not opposed to giving the guy a chance especially when you know of course he's known for his stand-up comedy but when he's trying to do something new like reinvent himself or just try something new with his career you know i'm pretty open to it i was very open with this film you know at giving the guy another chance to see if it would be something that I would enjoy. And honestly, it, it was, I really enjoyed this film. And apparently Kevin Hart was very serious about wanting to create this project. And you can actually tell just by his acting throughout the movie that he's attempting to make a statement and sort of prove to audiences that he's making some strides to improve his more serious dramatic performances. But of course, like I've already mentioned, you know, again, it's, it's Kevin Hart. So you already know the movie doesn't go on too long without his normal sequences of lackluster humor, but the film does have its moments and luckily it doesn't get out of hand with the cheesiness i mean he really sinks into this role and as this character and commits to it and it shows also real quick i want to give this film props for being one of the few films out there that depicts a black father in a completely positive light i mean this father has no criminal past he's not trying to redeem himself from anything. There's no cheating. There is no problem finding a job or maintaining a career. I mean, this black father has literally done everything right when it comes to his place in society. I mean, this guy literally has no problems. And I was like, damn, you know, we normally don't get movies like these. It's usually a character on his way back from tough times or just dealing with crazy shit or just having to do something illegal to take care of his family. So you kind of have that negative, but also have that good side and you can kind of sort of feel where he's coming from because he has to do something terrible to help his family. But we don't have any of that here. And I was like, you know, good job. Good job, guys. You know, like I said, we just normally don't see redemption stories. So it was nice to see a guy who's got his shit together, basically. And life just came through with a fucking bulldozer and tore his shit apart. And now he's basically got to put all these pieces back together without his wife, you know, being there. And of course, that's not a good thing. But, you know, like I said, once again, they get props for their depiction of a black father because you normally don't see this type of depiction in film. So, yeah, good job, guys. So I'm giving fatherhood an 8.5 out of 10. 
It's one hell of a tearjerker, and all the performances here delivered on a very satisfying level. And even little Miss Melody Heard, who's getting all kinds of experience with different roles lately, and you know, it's quite clear that she has a bright future ahead of her. So yes, once again, you know, I highly recommend this film. Uh, even if you're not a fan of Kevin Hart, look, I, I get it, I understand, but give this film a chance you know if, if this movie doesn't change your mind about how you feel about kevin hart's acting uh then nothing will honestly in my opinion if this do, if, if this film doesn't do it for you i don't think any film's going to do it for you because i feel like this is the best he's done thus far in his career he was definitely 100% right when he said that as far as his acting goes. But anyway, Fatherhood releases this Friday, which is June 18th, exclusively on Netflix. But there you have it. And if you enjoyed the content, you know what to do. Thank you for watching.